What's up, Jones Bones? It is your girl, Unitely Random, and I think I have COVID, okay? And, like, let me tell you, it's not because cases of COVID have been going up recently. It's just more so because, um, maybe it is because cases of COVID have been going up recently. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Um, starting about yesterday, I started to feel like, like, a little tickle in my throat, a little discomfort, um, when I woke up, uh, yesterday morning, or the day before yesterday, I, like, uh, went into the sink, and I saw blood there, and, um, some of my mucus looked to be infected, so even if I don't have COVID, there's something going around in my, uh, throat, in my upper chest. And I don't have any medicine. And because COVID is going around, it makes it a little bit more worse to go out and just be like, oh yeah, even if I have on a mask, because I had on a mask and I'm sick. So I don't think it was like because of the weather. The weather, like it's cold, but it's not like stupid cold. You know, I didn't sneeze or anything. So I think it's some type of infection. Um, even if it's not COVID and you know, I've been sharing my concerns with the people in the program and everybody's like, girl, stop worrying about it. They're just pretty much like, close your eyes. It'll go away. No big deal. But I feel like I have a duty as an, as a person that cares about other people to make sure that I'm not sharing my affection all over the place. Uh, you, like, I, like, I could just feel like there's something just sitting in the back of my throat is what it feels like. Um, when I woke up from my nap, it was just like this feeling. And I realized I've been sleeping a lot lately. I've been really tired a lot lately. Um, a couple days before this time, we were actually out and we did a dry run of our trip. And that dry run of our trip, we were on the train and stuff like that. And I was just like, it just makes sense if I had COVID. You know what I mean? I'm not saying, like, I 100% have it. I know that there's something, like, not good going on. Um, I don't have to have COVID to have an infection in my throat. And the reason that that concerns me is I don't have any medicine or anything to get rid of it. Um, so even if I just sat around and like waited for it to go away, that there's a problem that comes up from that because I don't know if you guys know about it, but back in high school, I was diagnosed with um, chronic bronchitis. Um, and to my understanding, it's just like, it's a chest infection that kind of leaks into your lungs. And I don't have time to be dealing with something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm a little worried because like a little infection in the throat can easily become an infection in my chest. Um, even if this isn't something that, like, I never went and had surgery or anything about, you know what I mean? And, but I don't have any medicine to stop it from moving to my chest. So we're just going to have to trust my body. Like, she already failed me before. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on. I think my voice sounds more normal No, but it's still tight. It's still, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to try not to go out tomorrow unless it is to go get tested. Because I don't want to feel like a horrible person. If I had COVID and I just went out, like earlier today I went to Lawson. And I go there to eat food, get food to eat. And, like... How am I going to feed myself if I have COVID? You know what I mean? Like, people just don't care anymore. Like, it's really crazy for all of that um, quarantining that we did, expensive quarantining, to just get here. 
it like as soon as we got here there was an immediate outbreak happening it didn't have anything to do with me i can tell y'all that i'm not a cause of this outbreak because i tested negative multi i tested negative multiple times before we got to this point but once i get to this area there's an outbreak happening. Someone was like over 80% of the population in the city that I am in has it. Okay. Like, you know, it's just a matter of time. It is just a matter of time. And my thing is like, of course I would be a little stressed out, a little worried about it because there's no one here to take care of me if it gets worse. There's no one here to take care of me. Like, Stu isn't here to take care of me. So, I reached out to them. I asked them, what do you do? What do you do if you suspect that you have COVID? And they have not reached back to me. But, like, I started talking about this with uh, one of my other, um, one of my other uh, bosses slash co-teachers slash I don't know what to ask exactly to call her, but I started talking about this yesterday because she brought it up. Oh, do you have COVID? And when she brought it up, I was like, wait a minute, do I have COVID? I was like, should I go get tested? Should I go get tested? Because you're saying, do I have it? Because my voice is sounding a little bit different. And like, what a coincidence that that morning that she asked me, do I have COVID? I woke up and I was like spitting up blood because it's just, it's, to say there's something going on with my throat. And I'm like, but everybody's like, well, do you have a fever? That's the thing that gets me. Because the times that I might have had COVID in the past, girl, I did not have a fever. I never have a fever. I don't run hot. I am hot. <laughs> so, yeah, it is what it is. It, it is what it is. I got a bunch of water. My thing is, I don't want the the ladies that come into my room. I've been going downstairs and eating breakfast. Like, that's the thing. I've been going downstairs and eating breakfast. Like, before I wasn't going downstairs and eating breakfast. These last few days, I've been going downstairs and eating breakfast. Everyone who is in the freaking lobby with me, I could have infected that's like a horrible feeling that is such a horrible feeling or or in another way like if we're going to think of it in a different way someone from there gave me covid but it is to say that i have to go outside every day to get something to eat so, I can't say that I'm scotch-free either. It's just, it's going around. And, like, if I know about it, I'm going to be upfront. Like, oh, yeah, I got it. You know what I mean? Somebody else might have tested positive for COVID and was like, okay, well, I'm still going to go around. You know? There's so many places. Like, yesterday in the visa document area, when you take your picture of your face, you have to take your mask off when you do that you take your mask off to take the picture so anyone who was inside of that booth after me has the probability of being infected by me you know that's what gets me that's what that really get me in my feels so you know it's real i don't know what to feel but I know that I don't feel 100%. My throat is achy. I'm spitting up blood and infection. Did I mention COVID cases have risen? I don't know what to do. So I pulled out my camera and decided to tell you. That I think that I might have COVID. Yeah, yeah. By the time you guys get this video, it's going to be way, way late, though. I could give y'all the date. Today is 12th, 30th, 2022. So, that's the date this video, if anyone watches to this point. 
<sighs> but yeah, definitely gotta get tested tomorrow. Hi, it's me, future Aaliyah. Um, I'm coming in to tell you guys something that happened like pretty much the next day. And I'm wearing the same thing, so I was like, oh yeah, this can go in the same video. Okay, so anyway, um, I decided that I was gonna sleep in. <laughs> That's a little cute little shirt. It's my shirt. I was gonna sleep in the next morning and you know, I was just chilling in my bed. And what I do when I go to these hotels is in general, I always lock the front door. Um, I don't know if it's paranoia or something. I think I saw something where girls were in like Florida and they locked the front door and like later at night they heard some men outside the door talking about how they were gonna sell them or something like that, and I was just like, oh, no, no, no. Um, even though I am in a completely different country, um, I still lock my doors. It makes me feel safer because anybody with a key can come on in. And um, I put up the sign telling them that I did not want any service. Like, oh, yeah, I don't want any service. I think I put up the right sign. Let me look. Let me look at this sign. Look at this sign. I might have put up the wrong sign. Okay. No, it makes sense. It makes sense. Let me tell you guys. I woke up to someone at the door and I was like, oh no, I don't want it. I don't want it. I was just going to continue laying in bed. I'm chilling. They tried to open my door. But the thing that saved me, the thing that saved me, was the fact that I had my door stopper on. So she couldn't come in. I was sleeping. It was a mistake, Miss Ma'am. I wanted to tell y'all that I didn't want your services. My room's a mess. Mom's spaghetti. Armpits sweaty. Um, it's not like too messy, but it's not too clean either. And I will go back for an hour. It's about 10, 10, 30, 10, 11. Go back for another hour. Like, why not? It's Saturday. Tomorrow's Sunday. And I'm off tomorrow. And I have some papers to do. So I have uh, two videos to watch to write papers about. And then I want to consolidate all of those papers. <gasps> you see that yawn? That's the yawn to tell you to go back to bed. And I'm going to 